Hi guys, this video is about something I was not expecting to find in Mexico City, a castle. Chapultepec Castle or Castillo de Chapultepec. And the funny thing is, I'd actually seen this castle before without realizing it, and you may have too. It was used as a set in Baz Luhrmann's 1996 movie Romeo and Juliet, starring Claire Danes and Leonardo DiCaprio. And if you watch the movie, you'll see it's used as the Capulet Mansion. The location of the castle has been a site of special significance for a very long time. It was a sacred place for the Aztecs and its name, Chapultepec, actually comes from the Aztec language and it means grasshopper hill. So because of that, you'll see a lot of images of grasshoppers represented throughout the site. The site has been home to different buildings with different purposes throughout its long history. It's been a military academy, presidential home, of course a royal residence, as well as an observatory, and now it's the National Museum of History. It's the only castle in North America ever actually used as a royal home. It was the residence of Habsburg Emperor Maximilian I and his wife Empress Carlotta, and at that time it was located on the outskirts of Mexico City. And so Maximilian ordered a large European-style boulevard that would connect his home, Chapultepec Castle, with the center of Mexico City. That is now known as Paseo de la Reforma. It's beautiful and you can get a great view of it from the castle. Construction of the castle began in 1775, and in 1806 it was purchased by Mexico City's municipal government. It was mostly abandoned during the Mexican War of Independence, but then rose to prominence again with the story that is now probably the most famous event to have taken place there, the Niños Heroes or Hero Children. This was a small group of boys who are said to have defended the castle against the United States during the Battle of Chapultepec on September 13, 1847, during the Mexican-American War. The hero children are now honored throughout the grounds of the castle with sculptures and a commemorative mural. Besides the beauty of the castle itself, there are lovely gardens and grounds. You get fantastic views of the city and parks surrounding. And of course, because the National Museum of History is there, there are also historical artifacts and furnishings that I really enjoyed seeing. Chapultepec Castle took me by complete surprise and it's now one of the top things I would recommend seeing in Mexico City. And where it's located, Chapultepec Park, was also a real favorite of mine. I recommend going on a weekend if you can, especially on a Sunday. That is when the park truly comes to life with people out enjoying boat rides, food vendors, just out in the sunshine enjoying the green space. I hope that you enjoyed learning more about Castillo de Chapultepec, North America's only ever official royal residence. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more travel videos and I'll see you in my next one.